This is the download from Sounds Profitable, your daily source for the essential news of the business of podcasting. Brought to you by Spreaker from iHeart. I'm Tom Webster. Here's what you need to know for today, Wednesday, November 8th. First from Spotify, more than 200,000 audiobooks are now available to Spotify premium listeners in the U.S., A batch of audiobooks previously only available to Spotify premium users in the UK and Australia have been made available in the United States. The new books are accessible with Spotify's new 15 hours of audiobook listen time made available for every premium user. The announcement also brings new research built from a survey of 1,000 adult audiobook listeners. I assume that's audiobook listeners who are adults and not listeners to adult audiobooks. Conducted by The Logit Group in September, 72% of Gen Z and Millennial respondents listen to audiobooks, 37% of all respondents enjoyed an audiobook enough to listen through multiple times, and the much-lauded connection power of audio is still present in book form, as 42% of respondents aged 18 to 34 expressed interest in finding out more about their audiobook's narrator. From Signal Hill Insights, Branding investment in podcasting doubles, magnifying focus on brand lift. According to the recent IAB and PwC U.S. podcast advertising revenue study, brand-focused campaigns are now a majority of projected podcast ad revenue for 2023 at 51%. Ad revenue from branding campaigns has almost doubled from 2021 to 2023, from $695 million to almost $1.4 billion. This focus on brand building is also reflected in the podcast opportunity from Sounds Profitable. Of those surveyed in that study who currently buy ad space on podcasting or have previously bought in podcasts, 51% of respondents cited brand awareness as a main driving factor. All of which dovetails into our next story from Business Insider. 60% of major brands plan to increase their ad budgets in 2024. New research from Ebiquity, built from a survey of 92 respondents at multinational advertising companies, shows cautious optimism for 2024. As the headline notes, 60% of respondents plan to increase their budgets next year, a market increase from the 29% who said the same last year during fears of an economic downturn. Only 7% of the remaining respondents not increasing their budgets next year said they intend to decrease spending next year. Video is expected to get the bulk of growth next year, and on that subject, it's worth noting that studies, including our own The Media Moves the Message, show podcasting needs to be in that conversation. The leading advertisers in podcasting perform significantly better in lower funnel metrics with podcast listeners than the leading advertisers in television and radio with their consumers. The addition of podcasts to a multi-channel media mix also shows significant mid-funnel effects. Brian Morrissey writes, the twilight of the brands. As Morrissey says to kick off this piece, the internet has mostly been a disaster for publishers. As social media grows, trust in large institutions has eroded and brand images are more difficult to maintain as more companies are expected to have a take on global issues regardless of relevance. Meanwhile, major publishers are going through identity crises, such as the New York Times shifting to a more CNN-esque organization, while CNN attempts to leverage their brand to shift towards direct-to-consumer. A brand, consisting of a small group or even just a single person, can weather this new climate much more effectively with their added agility. This bodes well for podcasting in the long term, as it's largely a medium where the podcaster is the product that audiences are tuning in for, not the publication producing it. Today we have a Sounds Profitable Research Database snapshot. It's from our friends at Lower Street, who conducted a survey of over 500 business decision makers. And what they discovered, business owners slash founders over-index for daily podcast listening compared to other decision makers surveyed. In fact, 55% of business owners and founders say they listen to podcasts daily. Uh, The average in that study, again, of all business decision makers from uh, all levels of organizations uh, was 41%. What it means Well, branded podcasts are an excellent way to reach a very targeted market compared to other media platforms and why it's cool. I mentioned business owners and founders, uh, 55% listened every day. If you are from the ranks of managers, that number's 27%. 
So business owners and founders are twice as likely to listen to Podcast Daily than managers. And that means that empowering owners and business founders with podcast content that they can recommend or pass on to managers could even grow the space. Be sure to check out the links to every article mentioned right in your podcast listening app or at soundsprofitable.com, where you can also subscribe to the newsletter version. The download is written and produced by Brian Barletta, Gavin Gaddis, and me. This episode is hosted on Art19. For Sounds Profitable, I'm Tom Webster. Download us again tomorrow.